the reason you're not succeeding as an entrepreneur in real estate or anything is because of you. Like if you can wake up to that, you have the world by the balls. All of the power comes back to you. If you have a limited budget, just do cheaper forms of marketing. I mean, it just, the less budget you have for marketing, let's say, the more physical work you have to do. It's just a simple teeter-totter. It's just, it's just a psychological warfare of knowing that there's going to be rejection, there's going to be bumps in the road, like that is entrepreneurship, you know? Because I'm so experienced, I gamble a little more on deals, like I just did a deal recently where I um, didn't see the whole, all four walls of the basement. I rolled the dice and I got a few thousand dollars more in expense now than I expected, probably about five grand out, five, five grand more than I expected because I couldn't see a wall and I was like, you know what, I really want this deal. And I'm, I have it padded in, meaning I'm not going to lose money. I'm just going to make less than I originally thought. That happens. But again, it wouldn't happen for new people because the way I train people. But me, I kind of, you know, because of my experience, I do roll the dice more. But I would never teach someone else, a new person, to do that. So you don't have to worry about that happening to you in the beginning because of the way I teach you. But I'm just tell, sharing my experience. Like, shit happens sometimes, you know. Like, boom, I just lost 5000 worth of profit because of something that uh, I kind of gambled on a little. But I can afford to do that. I can afford to do that. So a lot of times certain things I do, I wouldn't necessarily, like people say, what exactly, Nick, do you do? Or how much exactly do you spend on marketing every month? Like, it doesn't matter because as a new person, you're just not going to do that. You know, what I do a lot of times is different than what I would tell a new student to do, which is normal. You know, I'm doing a different scale of deals than you, but I just roll the dice once in a while because of the padding I have and the experience I have where I'm like, eh, we'll get through it. If I have $800 in a if you have a limited budget, just do cheaper forms of marketing. I mean, it's just the less budget you have for marketing, let's say, the more physical work you have to do. It's just a simple teeter-totter. And the bigger your marketing budget becomes, the less physical work you have to do. Most of my marketing is just me having a credit card automatically swiped and I just, the leads come in. But in the beginning, be smart. Print flyers, business cards, you know, that stuff's peanuts. Calling people with your phone, like dialing physically, driving around looking for shitty houses, dropping notes in the mailbox and doing all kinds of stuff like bandit signs are cheap, you know what I mean? So people say, what about this, what about that? I don't have any money. I don't, ha it's, I don't feel sorry for you because too many people have proven how easy it is to do this with no money. So it's a teeter-totter. You have more money, you can market more and get more deals with doing less work. You have less money, do more work physically. Like it's not rocket science. And as you grow, and you do a deal or two, now you're playing with the house's money. Now you can expand more and do less work and on and on it goes. And pretty soon you can delegate, hire things out and scale that way. It's very it's very common sense based, guys, from starting to growing to scaling, etc. It's very common sense based. There's nothing complicated uh, that we're doing here. I mean, there's just nothing complicated about what's happening. Just do more work. Less money, do more work. More money, you can do less work. You can have that luxury. There just is no excuse. Like there, there's no reason to not make it in this business. The only reason, you wanna know the real reason that you're not making it in this business, you have to look directly in the mirror and that is the only answer, period. You have to look in the mirror because that is the answer why you're making it or not making it or making it. If you're making it, look in the mirror, you did it. If you're not making it, look in the mirror, you didn't do it. And don't tell me, you're Nick, I tried this, I tried that, I'm working hard. You know, again, I've had students in the past where I've had to set them straight. No, you're not, you're not doing enough. Your market is the boss. You work for the market. The market tells you what to do and you either calibrate to what it says or you don't. If you put out 10 bandit signs and don't get a deal and your market's telling you that's not enough. If you put out 20 and you don't get a deal, your market's, you get it? The market's tell, the market tells you what you're supposed to do. That's the simple part about it. Do more work. Work is relative. Working hard is a relative term. What does working hard mean? Nick, but I'm working so hard. Compared to what? Like literally it's relative. You know, that's like saying I'm running fast compared to what? Not compared to a jet, maybe compared to a turtle. So you're working hard compared to what you usually do. Well, guess what? The problem is that the problem with that is what you usually do only produces a shitty income at a nine to five that you probably hate. And that's why you're doing this. So do more. What you usually do is usually 
not the calibration point to how much effort you should be putting into this business or any business you pursue as an entrepreneur. You want to be an entrepreneur? It's not like uh, it's it's not comparable to what you're doing now at your job. It's a completely different mindset, psychology, workload, etc. Now the good news is entrepreneurs once you get things down pat can systemize automate hire people etc to where it actually becomes less work and less and less work okay um but yeah like it's work there was i never ever gave anyone a false pretense that there was an easy button nor will i ever because it doesn't exist you don't press a button and make money it's never been available anywhere in entrepreneurship so we're living through a pretty hot market right now. So a lot of people are making money, but you know, you got to play offense and defense with your money and in your business and your entrepreneurial strategies. You have to simultaneously be playing offense and defense as an entrepreneur. Um, I actually, real fast, I closed on two flips. Both of them are nice, easy cosmetic remodels, flips, right? And uh, I was talking to a guy who was doing some construction for me, and he's like, just so you know, I pooled together a couple hundred thousand with some buddies, cash, and we're looking for flips. I'm like, hmm. So actually, what's happening is, I'm, I have a lot of rehabs going on right now, but a couple of, one or two of them I could mark up pretty heavy as is and uh you know sell it to them that way so we'll see i'm showing two guys i'm showing these partners uh two of the deals if put it this way the beauty of it is i can't lose because i'm already prepared to rehab them and sell them for a monster profit but if they give me what they what i want i win for doing nothing too so it's a total win-win for me and if they buy it it's obviously a win for them so you know that's the beauty of these situations when you buy right you have options if this guy gives me what i want as is boom i'm a happy camper i make big money doing nothing and if he says you know what i can't do it i send my guys in we rehab them and we make big money only good news only good news so he's following me i just showed him one i'm about to show him the other um and the nice thing is this is a newer relationship as far as this goes so if this goes well these guys these guys do a lot of the work themselves with their bare hands which means they're pretty much only paying for materials which means for me that I can charge them more if I do end up selling them these or any future properties because they're only paying for materials, which allows them to pay more money for my deals. Got it? When you're in a position where either way you win, you win. That's what you want. You're in a, you're in a powerful position. So I have nothing to lose. And I don't even have to lose my time of showing them the places because I had to go stop at both of these. I just closed on them and slap lock boxes on them and check a few fast things before I send my guys in. So I don't even lose the time of showing them because I have to be there anyway. Uh, the one thing I'm not going to do at this point is film um, him or, you know, he's going to be, I'm going to be talking to him and I, I don't want it on film because, um, you know, it's just a newer relationship. I don't want to, you know, what are the cameras and all this other shit. So um, for now, I'm not going to film that aspect of it, but just so you guys know why you're not seeing that on film, he, you know, I just, I'm a little cautious sometimes in a new relationship that could end up being very prosperous. Um, I don't want to, you know, freak people out or whatever. I don't know. It's probably not a big deal, but I'm sometimes a little extra cautious with these things because these guys seem solid. And then other than that, got a couple wholesale deals in the pipeline and um, closing on, I think, three rent new uh, single family rentals. You know, it's a single family triad. My philosophy is standing strong. It stays the same. It's foolproof. You know, you profit over here with flips. Take some of that money, put it into long-term rentals. Your money's, when you, when you have a rental property, um, and when your capital is in rentals, like you're in a good position. It's, a, it's, it's just, uh, it's standard the test of time for, for money for thousands of years. Real estate's where you want your money. That real estate is the container you want your, your money in and your wealth, period. Flip profits, roll it into rentals. Flip profits, roll it into rentals whether it's paying cash or putting a down payment or 
you don't even have to put a down payment with rentals either. You don't need cash to buy rentals. You could, there's plenty of ways to do it without, but again, I take the profits, put it in there because what am I gonna do? Put it in the bank and make freaking, you know, 1% of my money, 0.08%, whatever the bullshit is. No, I'm gonna put it into rentals and make 25, 35, 45, 50% on my money sometimes. It's a no brainer. The ROI mathematically is, is insane. It's an insane ROI. Hey guys, I'm just at one of my finished rehab projects. Um, this is a house that we bought, fixed up, remodeled, and sold using no money or credit. So 